Hello everybody, I'm doing here with the Hammer Game Channel and welcome to Kaiser Redux and to a new playthrough. And this will be actually my first playthrough back, so welcome back to the channel everybody, welcome back. And we're going to be playing as the Russian Republic because you know, you can't play... Oh, almost fallen off a chair. Um, you can't play as the Russians too many times on this game, it's just, they're always fun to play as, aren't they? Um, yeah, so everyone, welcome back, it is fantastic to be back. Um, it has been a longer duration away than I was expecting it to be, um, but here we are, we're, f we're finally here. I've been waiting for this moment for ages, and of course, it wouldn't be a video if I didn't have my bloody phone muted. So, um, yeah, if I'm remembering right, if I go to Path Guides, uh, do, 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 there'll be mention of Kornilov somewhere here, possibly. Kornilov, drop your stability by rolling down staff elections. Easy, push the generals and liquidate the right on Petrograd. Easy enough, go down the focus tree and let him stay as head of government. Kornilov won't die. Cool. Right, so I guess we'll start by doing he haw on the focus tree. So, obviously, my plan for this play uh, playthrough will probably be to... Um, kill everybody and recreate the glorious empire that will be the plan whether or not it goes to plan it uh, will remain to be seen i'll just start building submarines um oh, and yes i've got a canny actually build them out over in the, the east because um we don't have Vladivostok or any coastal territory over there oh it's been it's been so long since I've done a proper um, game like this. When I say that, actually, that's a that's a lie. Uh, I did play quite a lot of Hearts of Iron on my um, PC. Just does not run as well as um, on this uh, new PC that I've got. Um, was ever rights in the Le uh, legation council? That's cool. Yep, Kerensky has been shot dead. What a terrible shame. So we do not care about the Duma at all. Uh, the aftermath of Kerensky. Yep, PSR will lead a minority government. And the Russian economy is also in tatters. Oh my flippin' egg. Unfinished land reform. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's, what's going on here? The Senate elects acting president, which is obviously Dmitry Romanov. For a Strumer dies and the Gurgulov trial. Yep, death penalty. <laughs> and the funeral of Kerensky. So let's go ahead and look at our national spirits again. Oh, or try to. Elias Autonomous Region declares independence. That's fine, we'll slaughter them later. Um, I'm just going to let them protest. Uh, confidence motion. Yeah, we don't care. Nationalist march. I'm just going to let them protest. Members of the Russian Revolution not helping backwards industry, treaty of Minsk, poor infrastructure, divided military staff, political instability, divided naval staff. Wow, we are doing fantastic, aren't we? There's Edward being crowned as king after the death of his father. And president addresses the Duma. Happy days, clash in Petrograd. That's enough, send the army. Why, why the hell not? Government resigns. Okay. Cool. Um, let's go ahead and look. Yep, military season control in 72 days. Um, so, payment of Breslatovsk. Oh yeah, great. Even even, even more negative apply uh, things. Great. Oh, and the stock market crash. Uh, electoral gridlock in France. And Afghanistan's at war with India. Uh, question of the PLSR and NSP. Yes, we... This decision will lead to dramatic... Um, yeah, they can participate in elections because the elections ain't going to happen. We won't tell them that, though. And yay! Fantastic. Who, who, who doesn't love a cheeky wee bit of Black Monday action? Oh, my days. It's just going so quickly. Everything's just flying at me. I'm not used to this speed. I didn't really play Kaiser Redux, to be fair, all that much on my laptop because I just could not handle it at all. Um... So, the Battle of what the f... Um, Urda? Oh, that's here. Um, I, I, I 
I guess we'll send some guys down there. No, I meant, I meant half that, please. Half it. Half it. There we go. Um, we'll go down. I I don't know how well that will go. How many days we got? Nine more days. Stop exercising. Oh, shoot. I've only got three days left. Um, Attack. Oh, we, we might have this. What? That is that is a lie. Oh well, it was worth a try, I guess. I know it's not collections. Nope. Military coup d'état. Kornilov shall save Holy Russia. Indeed he shall. Where is he? Initial recovery as well. Good. Good. There he is. Who doesn't love Kornilov? And now... We... We don't, we don't have anything else for the time being. Um... Oh, the Kaiser Redux expansion stuff is so, so much better than the Kaiserreich. Uh, rumours of a plot. Um, I think we are to purge them, if I'm remembering quite correctly from the guide. Uh, do, 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 purge the generals. Mm -hmm. Purge them. Hey, as long as Capel is still alive, I do not care how the purges went. Uh, liquidate them. Oh, Vladimir Capel's still there. Oh, good. Because he is very decent. We have a lot of decent generals, to be fair. A lot of decent generals. Kornilov consolidates his rule. Indeed he bloody shall. Ah, and that has opened. Korolov announces an alliance with Sandvinkov. Sandvinkov can get in the bloody bin. Um, which way is better? Korolov, China. Group population plus 4%. Trade unions banned. Fight radicals. Focus on internal situation. Wrangler, Denikin. Do, do, do. My spike is still good. Um, I feel like... Oh, I can choose any of them. Which... Um, I'm going to support Wrangle and focus on the internal situation. Split in the RUS. Okay, what? Please Wrangles. Okay, I'm going to improve his position. Let's fight some radicals. Talk to the royal family. Oswald Mosley has been elected. And nobody cares. Hopefully they will agree to talk. Wrangle is up to talk to the royal family after about restoration of the monarchy in case he becomes head of government. Yeah, but that's not going to happen though, because Kornilov is here to stay. He shall not die. Ah! No one's worried about it. It's time to decide who will be the heir. Wrangle will be the Tsar himself. Yeah, Wrangle will be the Tsar. What are you on about? If it ever comes to that, he will be the Tsar. But it's not going to. Okay, okay, okay. Jeez, I'm not used to, to all these pop-ups. I forgot what Kaiser Redux and Kaiser Rig were like. We're just, oh, things flying at you. At least it's not TNO where I have to read a novel to get. Um, So what I was going to say, like, at the start of the episode, roughly, um, was my plan, for now that I'm back, I'm good, we're uh, improving our stability and dealing with the radicals. Um, do I want to go down there? I, I just want to consolidate the rule. Uh, first Women's Division of Death. This is unacceptable. Proves of Wrangle's influence. Sorry not, that I'm not really reading many of the pop-ups, but we've we've all seen them before. Um, judgment of the Court, let's do that. And then I can deliver a speech. Okay, on you go. Manuel Carles assumes full control of Argentina. Maxime Gorky has died. Let's get improved machine tools. Coup de Tat and Siam. Then I can deliver a speech. Mm. Said that there were not uh, there were not pogroms, but terror against Bolshevik partisans. He added, "It is not a secret that many Bolsheviks were Jews, so the actions were anti-Bolshevist and helped to win the war." He also added that he signed the decree banning Jews from joining the Russian army because of existing anti-Semitic moods in the army, and not because of his own personal views. Should we we could demand his resignation. 
This may only fire up his force. No, he's got a point. Let's just do that because it improves Wrangle's influence, which I think is probably the better of the choices. Traditional values plus a three surrender limit. Fantastic. Eight white sun over China. And yet again, I got interrupted for what I was going to say. Pius has been elected as the Pope. And we also have the Italian Confederation. So we might have a peaceful reunification of the Italians. Um, so yes, as I was going to say. So my plan for being... But what the f... Direct rule from Moscow. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, the popular prince. Cool. Oh, and Siam's in a civil war. And Ching is winning as well. Right, cool. Anyways, right, back to what I was trying to say. Um, yeah, my plan. For God's sake, reform the military is open. Gain orthodox. Oh. Yes, well, uh, yeah, we'll do ties with the church. Um, yeah, so my plan is I'm going to have an episode for this playthrough every day. And there'll always be a playthrough. So basically when this one finishes... Um, Oh, so war down there now. Um, wait, is that three ways of war? It bloody is. Oh no, the kingdom of Cambodia. Okay. And Mau Mau, it's gone. Right, anyways. Um, yeah, so there are going to be five episodes for a playthrough every um, every week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and basically once a playthrough finishes a new one will start and there'll just be the process of that and then I've not completely decided what days it's going to be um, I'm thinking Wednesday, Friday there's going to be like either a what if video kind of scenario so like what if Germany won World War 1 in like the Great War Redux mod there's just an example for you it's not one that I've got planned uh, for the future or anything Um but we'll have a video like that, or maybe just have a video where I just play as a nation and we'll just do a run through. Like, um, one that I've got coming up is um, the First Galactic Empire, just playing as um, the Galactic Republic on Palpatine's Gamble, which um, you'll notice in all the videos that I've done for that mod so far, I call it Palpatine's Gambit every single time. Um, but yeah, there'll be two of those kind of videos, like really edited down videos a week. Um, oh. Oh, okay. Sorry, just we'll, we'll we'll get back to what I'm saying in a second. Uh, let's just go ahead and get the boys in position. Probably overkill with this many stacked over here, considering we are popping tons of equipment short. But uh, do you know what? Let's just bend a handful. Might actually help the current gun situation. It does a little bit. Let's um. Yeah, we're just going to invade you, because why the hell not? Oh no. Oh no, I am at war with them. Am I? Yeah, I'm at war with them. Oh, there we go. I was, <laughs> I was wondering why we weren't pushing. But yeah, basically, um, so we'll have seven videos a week on this channel. And then I think on the other channel, it's about roughly the same. Um, And all the stuff on... Dunes Let's Plays is going to be edited as well. Um, it doesn't take me too much time, and um, frankly, I quite enjoy doing it. Um, it just gets rid of all the boring crap and just keeps all the action, which is obviously what you guys are probably mostly interested in. Um, fair enough, I am a great entertainer, but um, yeah, we I prefer action over sitting and watching just people doing nothing. So we can keep, if I can edit it down and just keep the action in, happy days. So yeah, we'll have um, Bill Haywood elected as president. Well, that's not going to end well, is it? Um, yeah, we'll have 14 videos a week, um, ranging in different lengths, and maybe some weeks will be different than others, just depending on what shifts I'm working at work. Um, Colonel shall stay head of government. Yes, he bloody will. Um, yeah, all depends on my shifts and everything. Um, some weeks might have less videos, just if I've not had time to do them. Um, especially if I'm on night weekend night shifts. Um, yeah, but we'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Or maybe maybe um, the system won't work and my schedule will get slightly altered, so there might be less videos. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, obviously, I don't want to give myself too much work because I do have obviously my full time job to deal with as well. 
Oh, look at this, we're getting all this free land. Okay. Uh, of course, I've got player-led peace conferences on in the state transfer tool. Just in case, you know, we need it. I just realized that we were the only ones in that, uh, <laughs> in that peace conference. But, uh, oh well, you're... Um, stab I'm going to really... An independent... Uh, it's better than losing stability, because right now, we, the marshal holds on to power. Okay. Um, we're currently doing the last focus of Cornelov's tree. Which is what was my um, aim for this episode. Cool. So, um, actually, I hope you guys have actually been keeping uh, well over the last um, couple of months. Um, it has been... I want to say... Oh, we can finally go down the foreign tree, that's good. I want to say it's been about maybe 120 days, roughly. Maybe at the time of this recording that it's been since I last uploaded a video of... Of anything, any description. Um, of course, we did have those two live streams. Um, actually, just mentioned live stream. It's one thing I'm actually planning on doing a little bit more as well. Maybe two streams a week, one on each channel, possibly. Um, we'll see how it goes. Or actually, I might not even do them all on YouTube. Did Kolchak die? Nope, he's not. Um, oh, Turkestan Kanate's here. Cool. Um, yeah, I might actually start streaming on Twitch a little bit more, um, but that's something that I'll look at doing in the, in the future, not straight away. I want to get kind of back into my uh, schedule, my kind of work ethic and everything. I'll probably do stuff. Um, I don't think too much of out of the ordinary is actually happening in Europe right now, um, except from, you know, the Italian Confederation uh, popping up. Konolov has been proclaimed the Supreme Ruler. Look at that. That is a very, very nice little bonus he's got applied to him. So, um, I think it only takes 28 days and then 14 to do those two. So, I'll get those both out of the way. Then we'll maybe look at expanding. Um, Ripidate the Treaty of Minsk. Um, obviously, going to go for expansionism because we ain't taking nobody's crap. Okay, we, we are going in. Um, seek allies, obviously allies. We might get allies, potentially. We might not. Hopefully, uh, Ukraine will get uh, the Russophiles um, in charge. Oh, I completely forgot we'll have mental civil wars in this mod. Uh, maybe they'll get the Russophiles and then willingly join us. Um, that would be ideal. Or even just join our faction. That would work either way, really. Um... I said I was going to do this Black Monday recovery. Let's do that. Uh, this is one thing I'm not too keen on in this mod. The six-way American Civil War. It's bad enough with it being a... Oh, jeez. Uh, we're going to have stabilisation. Good. Probably should have done that focus a lot earlier. Um, yeah, I'm not too keen. Like, three... three civil, the three-way Civil War was not bad enough. But, like, you know what I mean. It was it was sufficient. Um, six-way, fair enough. There's some interesting routes. Um, I've not really played as uh, the Constitutional American uh, Republic or whatever they're called. Uh, I actually don't think I've touched them at all, but they do have some interesting routes. They have, obviously, um, interesting groups there. Um, the Lone Eagle as well, which is Charles Lindbergh. And Mr. Monopoly Man down here. Um, yeah, there's there's some there's some interesting routes, but uh, we're not interested in that. We're just interested in Cornwall right now. Um, now, what I should probably just uh, mention is, if there is any nations playthroughs um, mods, just suggest them to me. Um, if you're not in my Discord, then I'll have, there'll be a link for it in the description. Join that. Oh, Syndicalist Revolution Switzerland. Seriously. Every time Switzerland, every time. Um, yeah, I'll leave a link to the Discord. Pop in there. I'll be doing polls for the like playthroughs that are suggested. Those ones I done on the, the last poll for those who've seen that. Um, I just came up with the, of them like on the top of my head. Um, at work I was like, oh, I'll just get one done so I can actually start recording videos. That's a lot of work kicking off. Did was I right in saying polling joined in? Yeah. Okay. Interesting development indeed. Um, 
Even, even Venice is here. And uh, Moscow Accord is the best. Um, yeah, as I was saying, um, yeah, those those suggestions like this one that just came to me. Um, but yeah, if there's anything that you guys want to see, let me know, and I'll put them in the polls, and then we'll see what people are wanting to see. And if everyone wants to see a certain thing, if they get some most votes, I'll happily play it. That's how it's going to work. I'll maybe put my own suggestions in there as well uh, from time to time. But um, I'm basically giving you guys a lot more power on what we choose to play. Just know I do have the power to overrule you. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. This is a democracy, not a dictatorship. Um, partial mobilization. Let's do that. That seems to be a wise idea. Really, do we still have that? Can like that not end? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the f what the frick? Okay, so um France France is alone. Oh no wait, sorry, they've got Norway, you know, their saviour. Wow. Oh well. Good luck, France. Yeah, that came out of nowhere. I was not expecting that at all. Rally absolutionist officers. Cool. Integrate the Alash Republic. Aha, here we go. We have... Oh, Armenia has declared war on the Ottomans. The Ottomans also have war with Persia. Okay. Uh, secure Central Asia. We'll probably try and do that. Most videos are going to be between 25 and 30 minutes for the, um, the playthroughs. Um... I don't want to go too over the top. Um, I think we'll question the Dawn Republic. Right, let's just let's just get everybody and their mums down here. Have we caught up on equipment yet? Not exactly. Bolivia and Paraguay have pieced out. Probably Paraguay is a tiny, insignificant little nation now at this point, and having lost a lot more of their land. Um, the question of the Dawn Republic. Let's see if we can get them peacefully. I'm sure the Germans are... Oh, no. The Germans are not guaranteeing them. Uh, yeah, let's do a plebiscite. Why not? Seek allies. Seems... Mm. Should probably deal with the army. How the hell do I deal with the, the land reform? Yeah, we should probably deal with that. The, 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 that's hurting us bad. Ah, the Mozak Beak Bush War. Um, who's got the best plan? Who's, who's actually superior firepower? We have Firepower Shatilov. Good, good. Um, do you want to deal with the with that? Where's the where's the naval tree? Ah, it's there. Um, navy modernization. We are gonna need to build up a navy if I'm wanting to strike Japan. Let's do enemy in the east because I might see if I can get uh, the far eastern Russian, the far eastern Republic of Transmer to join us peacefully. But I think what we'll do is I'll just divert some divisions over there because I don't think you've got too many. Oh, perfect. They surrendered. That's exactly what we were wanting because now that opens up a massive front with... Okay, they must have annexed them. Opens up a massive front here. Um, reintegrate the land. Thank you. Yeah, let's attack them. The Georgian question. Yeah, threaten them with force. Uh, let's send in agitators. Let's let's try to avoid war at all costs. Nope, they've declared war me. That is fine. We'll just exploit the gaps that are in the bloody lines. I feel like I'm back playing Palpatine's gamble with just like walking in behind all the droids. It's the best way to kill off enemies, you know, just cutting them off. Oh, sugar, that's <laughs> that's not ideal. Um, yeah, that's not good at all. Um, do you know what? That's fine. I don't really have that many divisions of Georgians. Five to nine, yeah, just come on in. Is it Stalin that's there? Yeah. We're going to beat you, Stalin. Don't you bloody worry about that, mate.
Can we just take that capital, please? That'll just finish them off. Or would I like to have thought it would have finished them off? Uh, Mongolian issue. Let's do seek allies. I don't really want to start war on anybody else. Right. That's them dead. Let's get them annexed. No. No. Everybody's going to the wrong direction here. We get Stalin to deal with. I don't want them pushing right away either. Has he still got... Um... Yeah, integrate them, please. Um... What we'll want is divisions that actually push through and um, take that port, because obviously a port down there. Fourth Balkan War. See who wins that. I reckon Bulgaria will probably lose. That's what they seem to always um, always happens to them. Oh no, please not cry. Oh, okay. Cool. So I, it's probably fair to say that the Polish state is um, doomed. Uh, there's big Slovakia, Transylvania. Hungary is probably going to get released the rest. Yeah. United Mexican States join the Third International. I think that's a poor decision by them. I don't think that's going to be beneficial for them at all. Oh well, we've got the port. That's exactly what we're wanting. What we're also wanting is just to get them behind some of their divisions down here maybe. Yep, okay, that makes sense. Have we got invites? I can invite them in. Ooh. I wouldn't mind that, but they still have my land though. That's the only thing. Yeah, Stalin's only got one to three divisions left. We've only lost 880 men. It's not too bad at all. Get to the capital of Georgia, which I'm not even going to try and pronounce because, let's be honest, I'll just butcher that. Where do I have that? Yeah, well, Finland. Don't know why I chose Finland specifically, but... Uh, Let's go ahead and the National High Command Foreign School, which gives us a nice few bonuses. What did we get from doing that last one? Experienced Army. Yeah, we still got divided military staff, which will be going here. We'll have experienced military, which sounds much better. Let's do the Dwellers of the Mountain. There goes Georgia. Yeah, we'll finish up by seeing what happens with them. Uh, Russia demands our... Hmm. Nah, I declare war. We're not offering them any chances, we're just going to kill them. Simple as. Get some divisions to try and walk in behind like that. What we do need to do is sit and actually sort of army. We've got plenty of guns, which is just something, I guess. Uh, it's better than being completely void of them. Um, Japan's going after the Philippines, nothing new there. Mongol aristocrats take Mongolia. Does that still mean... Yeah, still I'm in charge. Cool. Yeah, we're making quick work of them in here. Damn it. I was hoping we could have crushed them first. Um... This is the Mongolian issue. It just unlocks decisions. doesn't do anything straight away. I feel like we should just get a mass amount of troops and just try and... Force open the straits. Striking the Ottomans might be a good idea quite early on in this playthrough. Damn, they're actually holding quite nicely. They're so close to dying as well. Hmm... I don't think everyone's on that, to be fair. Can anybody do a force attack? Yeah, we'll try it, because it's not going to take much to finish them off. And I think Bulgaria just pieced out. Ah, come on. 
I know I'm slaughtering a lot of men here, but I don't care. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Ultimatum of Persia. Oh, oh, we're winning the capital. Surely, I'm going to end up losing more men than I've actually killed them. A gate to India. Oh, Ulrich has just uh, betrayed the Austrians. Unlucky. Why do I feel like they're doing like the flipping forced defense thing? Because holy hell, you are killing yourselves off here. Yeah, we'll do the referendum of Vladivostok. We'll see if we can get that peacefully. Of course they had to have that cap. Follow Warsaw. Yeah, the Polish state's gone. And we should be winning this war. Nope, oh, that'll just be Poland getting puppeted. Oh, Prince of Federation's dead. Oh, there we go. Thank heavens for that. Right. Get them annexed. And invite Serbia and invite Bulgaria. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, do you know what? Let's invite Serbia. But I'm going to leave that episode there for the time being. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back very soon for another episode. Until then, do take care. Cheer bye. Then now.